Hey guys, it's Tina Trevino for Latin Biz Today. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy during these really challenging times while we're all going through the coronavirus pandemic, and it's really scary for a lot of us. Today I'm with Victoria Martinez, who is a yoga teacher and holistic health coach, and she's going to share some of her tips for staying healthy and finding joy during these really difficult times. I know that some of us no longer have jobs because our companies have closed. Some of us are worried about our jobs. Um, some of us have no one around us as a support system, and some of us now have whole families that we're all with together all day, 24-7, now that we are all working from home. So we all need to find some tips that we can take and use so that we can get through our everyday lives. So I'm hoping Victoria has some great things to share with us. My biggest advice right now to, to my clients and to the world, um, to keep the immune system high and to keep your immune system really functioning optimally um, is to eat well. So eat a lot of green foods um, and root vegetables uh, specifically because root vegetables are very grounding and right now it's a very unsettling time. Yeah. So because root vegetables actually grow inside of the ground and we have to dig them out, they have an effect on us that is grounding back into the earth. And they allow us to settle. Even the weight is quite heavy. So think sweet potatoes, um, uh, beets, yams, butternut squash, pumpkin. These, these vegetables that are a bit heavier right. um, are going to actually help us in our body to feel more grounded and to feel more settled. So all the vegetables are great right now, but those are, would be specific. Clean water. So really trying to get the best quality water that we can get our hands on um, and then avoid things that cause inflammation because inflammation lowers our immune system so then our immune system has to go and kind of um, combat the inflammation and so some of the biggest um, inflammatory food groups would be alcohol which I know a lot of people are turning to right now because of the social distancing and I understand that but alcohol is going to really um, deplete the immune system. So avoid alcohol, avoid processed sugar. Mm -hmm. So um, that's going to be like all your baked goods um, and all your, you know, all your goodies, uh, but continue to eat good, um, good sweets found naturally in nature, like in fruits um, and in root vegetables and things like that. And then fear, avoid fear because fear is also going to lower your immune system and to really find the joy in every breath that we continue to take together and to look around, especially right now that spring is coming. Mother, Na Mother Nature has given us this gift that this came during a time where we can see everything still living and blossoming and thriving. And it really helps me to like look at my kids' eyes and see their joy um, that they get to play more and they get to hang out and their innocence is really joyful. And so I think finding the joy in our everyday is going to help to not just boost our immune system and our mental health, but the overall vibration of the whole planet that is going through this right now together. Those are great words. I love that. And I think you're so right about spring kind of being right on the verge of happening for us because plants are starting to bud flowers mm -hmm. are coming out of the ground like yeah it's like if this was going to happen like this then at least there's some positiveness out there that we can look towards so yeah it's like this reminder that that we are on this cycle and that the cycle continues even when it feels like everything is ending um and everything is changing and in flux that this is a storm but every storm passes you know and every season comes and every season goes and there's this new life that comes around and so it's just a it's a really beautiful reminder that we can just look outside and see that um, I would also encourage people to take um, some sunlight in uh, sunlight I know it's hard right now because you want to stay home and there's a lot of fear but even if you just can step out into your balcony or take a walk around your block but getting about 20 minutes of sunlight is going to activate all the vitamins and minerals from the food that you eat and grounding yourself and just feeling the earth underneath your feet is going to help, um, help with our, the magnetic fields around us to keep us healthy as well.
could not agree with you more on that one for sure. Even just to get outside for a little bit and be out in the in the sun, even if it's cold, like I same thing, just wrapped up in a blanket, went outside for a little bit just to get some sunlight on my face. So Yeah, even on those cloudy days, the sun is is breaking through and and and, and we can feel it even though we're it might seem like it's not. Yep. I love it. Those are all great tips. So thanks for sharing. I'm going to share them with our audience as well, because that's all good stuff for them to be able to uh, utilize and hopefully be able to move forward in these next few weeks. 